Quantity. of my friends, we yeah. lost our cars, yeah. we lost our homes, our people lost business, and unfortunately, some were locked and uh, put under the ground. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. Uh, in the cellar, yeah, on the cellar, on the cellar. In the cellar yeah. for weeks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, wh why do you think that? I was happened? unfortunate to be a, amongst those that were locked. Oh, really? So, why, yeah, do, you they they you guys, why do you think they put you guys there? Well, that's why I was talking about uh, the racism. Part of it. Okay. okay. Yes, and yeah. Although they were white, also. Oh, well, they were white too. There were some whites there, but you know they uh, capitalized on us being blacks because they knew that we couldn't do anything and ah, there's nothing we could do. Okay. There was nobody to fight for us. Okay. You know, yeah, yeah. so they knew anything they were going to do, they were going to just do it and it will go off records. Right. Nothing's going to happen. Okay. And well, it has been off records. There's no human rights uh, organization fighting for us and fighting against everything that happened there. Everybody had lost some. Things there, some are still till date five years, six years going. As it's been affected, I remember coming to uh, uh, the city. You, you understand? When I arrived here, I had just a hundred dollars with me. I was on the train station for about four hours, with nowhere to go. I don't have any brother here. I don't have any mother here. I don't have any father here. I had no friends. I knew nobody. So, so, so here. what about what about what about like the, the Nigerian embassy? Since you're from Nigeria, actually, I learned that uh, the Nigerian uh, the Nigerian government sent money to the Nigerian embassy for them to help the Nigerian citizens over here, but we didn't get any help. You know, so you wouldn't imagine. I, I got a I got an apartment through a Ukrainian who was. Who, who, who felt the pain, you understand? I met a Ukrainian lady who felt the pain, you understand? And she actually gave me an apartment for a very subsidized amount of money, you understand? A very little amount of money. She told me as his uh, her son uh, was studying uh, in uh, in the UK, and she and when I explained to her that I came from uh, Lugansk, she said, "Wow, man, I'll help you guys." And she took a minimal money, amount of money for me, uh, and she allowed me to stay in an apartment with my friend. And you know what I did? Afterwards, I called my friends that were coming out from there. I said, come, if you guys don't have anywhere to stay, you could come around, you know. And I had oh, wow, like seven guys living in apartments. I left the apartment for them, I bought food there. I actually left the apartment for them and they stayed there for over three months. I left and I went to Europe. You, you understand? But they were there. They had a place to stay. And everybody that came from Lugansk at that point in time, they were living in the apartment. So you actually like a, you, you create a, a way to you to provide for. That's to provide. I, that's see, that's I, see, that's I see why you say you're supposed to be like Bill Gates. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, see, I, see. I, 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 I know people will verge for that because yeah. that's what I actually did. Okay. Yeah, I didn't have much, but I thank God that uh, for my mother's prayers and all. You understand? I was I was able to. I had some cameras on me that I had to sell. I had some phones. I had some things I had to sell. And some people, some, some, you know, some Nigerian. Things you were able to grab to in the grab, media, to grab, yeah, the government. Before I left, because yeah. I, I, came, I came with just a bag. A bag. A uh, bag, but I had some little mm. electronics that I took, you know, some small electronics that I took and I sold out. I was able to pay for the apartment. And I was able to invite people in, you know. And people that came in the war zone were able to have a place to lay their eggs and food to eat. And that's the most important thing in this country. But, I, I'll tell you about what yeah. this moment. Listen. People that are watching back in Africa, other parts of the world, might not know the type of weather that is in Russia or Ukraine or the Soviet It's, it's freaking cold. Country. It's cold, cold that um, minus 25 is something you might just imagine or dream about, but it's actually happening here. And uh, if you can provide uh, logistics for people like that, after being driven from their country or their yeah. comfortable zone, yeah. uh, that's like you saying that you're a Bill Gates because that's a Bill Gates is not about you helping your whole visit or oh, country. Not at all. One person he might call you Bill Gates. One person can call you that one person can call you Elon Musk. Even the best of the sky. Yeah. If you can take the bread yeah. that, that it's uh it's, it's it's frozen in your house. You don't want to eat. Huh? You don't put it in the dustbin. Mm -hmm. You crush it 
you crush it, you don't throw it in the in the, in the waste bin, yeah, yeah. and you go give to the best of the sky. Yeah. You are a big yes. Yeah, yeah, big yes. It's yeah. just that it's just that people are so caught up by Bill Gates being millionaire. Yeah, no, Gates. it's not about that. It's not about because that. What you they, did, they, what you they little you do. Yeah. People will appreciate it. And I have people that still appreciate me too. Dude. And so for you, you are still feeling no, I understand it. Yeah, yeah. 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 There, there are people like <laughs> even as uh, uh, when I need a little bit of shit uh -huh. and I talk to them like, ah, what's up, bro? Can you give me a little bit of help in here? Uh -huh. They still remember those. Those are the grateful ones. They still remember that. Wow, this bro did this for me at this point. It's not like a, you, you don't do things in life for you to have a uh, return of it. No. The same time. No, not at the same time. Yeah. Not not, no, not at, at every point. Yeah. At any time. Don't not expect everybody. anything back when you do things. Yeah. You do it wholeheartedly from your heart. Okay. Because your return. Like, like uh, it said, uh, like a uh, return of the teachers, you get your return in heaven. Okay. So, when you do things, don't wait for returns. You understand? But in any which way, God will always, you know, return that to you. I don't know if not everybody believes in God. Hey, you know what in the we will believe in God. Hey. We believe in Africa, 12 years from now, what should you have achieved? Oh, wow. yeah, before that, wow. and then I'll watch it next one. Wow, wow. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a very, very, very technical question. Okay. You understand? Yeah. But, you know, also like this, like uh, uh, from a human perspective, mm -hmm. my human perspective, I believe uh, if I stayed back uh, in Nigeria, I would have been uh, a multi-millionaire now. Really? Yeah, for real. Because I was already making whips eleven years. Uh eleven years way back I already had had a, only had two trailer heads heads that was that was working for Dango team. Okay. I was I was taking bitumen bitumen from uh from the ports of uh, Nigeria over the ports uh, in, in uh Apapa to Nukoja to the cement factory. I had two trailers uh, working for me, which I owned. You understand? I already bought land and I was already building my house. You understand? Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I you know, I was very much okay, but uh, because of uh, SARS, like I say, mm -hmm. yeah, they were one of the people that when uh, let me leave, uh, leave the country. You talking about SARS? I remember in SARS, and yeah. the process, which I think as an individual. It was a wake up call for most of African youth. But uh, now the other thing I wanted to ask for Nigerian youths. You know, not Nigerian alone. For, Listen, yeah. if you might say Nigeria, the reason why I think Nigeria is like an Africa because if you take a look at the continent of Africa, right? Nigeria occupy one fourth of it or yeah. one third of it. Yeah. So if in Nigeria youth, they are everywhere yeah. and they are start protesting as a things, population as size. As a population that, size, I mean, yeah. as a population size, they are everywhere. Yeah. And besides, if they start doing stuff like that. And that was the stuff that happened when Nigeria started protesting inside Senegal, or Cameroon, every other countries. I don't know how you can name them in all this, but they start protesting. Even US, US start protesting. Yeah, everywhere in the world, even here. Yeah. yeah. So oh, that the embassy also. Yeah. So yeah. Basically, basically, I think if we have the elder brother or we have the the majority voting against something that is prohibited to a particular color or particular reason. It's simply going to stop the end of corruption or the end of brutality yeah. or discrimination. Discrimination. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's why I say Africa. We are starting. We are one. Because we're there right now. In Libya, they start the same thing, and another part of the every, country. Every, yeah. every, everywhere. Because of the answers. Yeah. Everywhere in the world. Everywhere in the world. When I I'm not like to you, Panta man. I'm on your show right now. <laughs> yeah, and I'm telling <laughs> to the audience, yeah. man. Ah, oh, wow. 
Hey, I want those old folks out of there, man. I always want out of there, man. We're not going to and if there's no revolution, we are not going to live long. Yeah. You know, so it's our generation. It's just that we are not still strong enough. We don't have the heart. People don't want to die because Nigerians love life. Love they life. want to live. Yeah. yeah, it's only the less privileged mm -hmm. that want to die. The ones that don't have anything at this moment in time. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, in Syria, even the ones that have life, mm -hmm. they have everything. Mm -hmm. They want to die so that the kids that are well to do will leave everything they want to fight for the generation unborn yes. you know so you have, they have millions but they're taking up the gun yes. you know they don't they don't know they don't even care if a shot will kill them yes. but they know they are fighting for their right yes. but in nigeria we're still afraid to die mm -hmm. that in ghana there was a revolution yes. that's why the country is getting better once there is still no revolution in Nigeria that we are taking up guns to fight these people, mm -hmm. there is not going to be anything done. Do you understand? Because they are still we are so wise enough, we are so intelligent enough, but we are afraid. And we'll still keep on living in this dejection, in this poverty. Do you understand? It's not like I'm poor. You know, so no, 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 okay. no, 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 you know that I'm poor, you know that like my family is poor, mm -hmm. but I'm afraid for the generation to, of, come. to come on board because these people in the helps of our fears, they are still putting their kids at the helps of our fears. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now they are making us less privileged. They are kids that are not versatile, they are not intelligent, they are not scores, they, they don't have anything and in their brain. You know, you know what happened? I was actually sp spoken to one of my. My, one of the persons was sitting where you are, where you are sitting right now. Uh, is from Ghana. He thought maybe the leaders or the the religious aspect is actually making people go idiotic because what it, um, why he thinks that people back home are suffering is because instead of they utilize what God had gave us, we are trying to pray for God. Like for example, somebody will just saw a phone, iPhone 11, on the floor. Instead of him to take it and then start making calls or start using it, you start praying to God while the phone is still there. And then somebody <laughs> take it. And I think this is what is going on in Africa. Don't you think religion is actually deceiving people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The white folks brought religion and this is uh, actually, in a way, being watched a lot of people. You, you, you understand? Yeah. I was brought up in a, in a religious home, but it doesn't make me go haywire. I still have uh, my sense of reasoning mm -hmm. as a human being. Okay. I have my sense of reasoning as a human being. You know, so I know my left from my right. I know what is good and I know what is bad. And I know when I'm being duped. You know, so I, always, I won't keep on being duped by these old folks. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know, so and I don't want my kids to get duped. Yeah, you understand? Know, so okay, yeah, I have a kid here yeah, and I'm still going to have kids here. Yeah. You know, my own monkeys, yeah. You know, why would I be proud to let them know that I'm from Nigeria and I, I'll take them to my home country? Uh, not Nigeria, Africa, Africa. as a whole. Sure, yeah. You understand? They have caused chaos, they have caused hula balloon mm -hmm. in the whole of Africa. They have brought their AK 47 mm -hmm. into Africa. You understand? Yeah, it's a peaceful place. We have all the mineral resources. We have every, we have virtually everything. The phones you are using, okay. If you go to uh, a Congo, Congo, yeah, yeah, without uh, without uh, uh, that uh, uh, mineral resource, no the phone, phone will, be available. will be available. And they have mm, over eighty percent deposit there in the whole world war, and, and, they, and they have they have caused a conflict there, and the people they are suffering. You understand? They have come up with several different organizations. Mm -hmm. You understand? The UN, the uh, who else, the these and that and that. Those are all formalities to me. Yeah. I would like to you. Those are all, you know, they're all formalities to me. I would like to you. You know, like uh, uh, the Kwame Nkrumah said, mm -hmm. there should be the United States of Africa. Mm -hmm. Huh? Even Libya, even more. Oh. Don't even come up from at, Ghana. At, at, said that. At my age, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm half Ghanaian. I'm half Nigerian. Wow. You, you, you understand? Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I, I, I have a trait. I was born in Togo. 
I have a Nigerian mother mm -hmm. and I have a Ghanaian father. Wow. Uh, but the whole the whole trait is still coming from Ile Ife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a man from the sea line, the sea coast. Okay. I'm a fisherman and I'm a water right here. Mm -hmm. You know, so now I know about history. We are one. You know, I speak Ewe, uh -huh. which is the language they speak. I'm going there. to speak. I want to say hello. How are you doing? Like, they say Ewe. How did they say hello? No, like, I'll say it in I'll say in Chui, right? Chui, Etisan. Etisan. Okay. What other language is it? In Yoruba. Uh -huh. Bawo. Bawo. Yeah. 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 What other language is it? Okay. Maybe uh, maybe in uh 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 Hausa. Uh, Hausa. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I, I have forgotten it. Uh, uh, yeah, no. What was your name? You know the language? You see this? I, I don't know. The okay, let me see. Let me see. Kushe, how are you? Kushe, how did you do? You Kushe, know? Kushe. So, so you, are you see, yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, because I lost track because of my uh, Russian language. Okay. Because I've been here for a while and mm -hmm. I conversate in Russian, you know. Okay. Well, yeah, that's why, you know, uh, until I go back home again before I start re retracing my steps again, you know. You know, and you know, but we need to have you, the, the vision of Kwame Nkrumah mm -hmm. and the vision of Gaddafi. Gaddafi, you, you understand? Martin Luther King, yeah. everybody. That's the yeah. vision, you know, it's not like a segregation, it's not like no, 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 you just not need to stand up. Yeah, you know, stand all these demarcations, all work. these demarcations and borders, they have the, uh, a, a way of confusion. confusion. They are just confusion. Yeah, not, this is not even discrimination, this is confusion. Yeah.